Welcome to Coach's Corner. I'm your host, Sean Anderson, and this is our weekly chat with the coaches of Pohai Athletics. And it's all about basketball on this edition. Coming up a little bit later, the Lady Cat basketball head coach, Jody Pencher, will be here on Coach's Corner. And right now, the head coach of the Punk City Wildcat boys basketball team, Coach Keenan Curry. And Coach Curry, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Uh, six games remain, and of course, uh, you're watching this now. The Enid game has already happened, but as we film this edition of Coach's Corner, the Enid game is tomorrow evening. Enid coming to town starting a six-game stretch. Let's talk about Enid first. Big rivalry. For sure. Robson is going to be rowdy. For sure. Tell us about this game. What do you expect? Well, it's, it's obviously the rival game. It's homecoming. Uh, we move homecoming up. Um, due to some scheduling stuff. So um, it's going to be a great game um, from, from top to bottom. I think the girls' game will be great. I think our game will be um, very, very competitive just for the simple fact we're very similar um, in, in play. We're very similar in, uh, you know, defensively, offensively. Um, they have some older guys, some more experienced guys, but I think our guys um, right now going into this stretch of basketball, we're playing hard. I think we know – um, what to expect, and we just have to execute. So I, I think it's going to be a great game. How much do you think the psychological factors play a role? Because we're talking about uh, Robson Fieldhouse. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it gets rowdy in their home court. Mm -hmm. It's a rivalry game with Enid. Uh, it's homecoming. Uh, all of these factors, uh, Does that? The, do you see that affecting your players in a, in a positive way well, when they're in that position? I, 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 don't, I don't know. I think... Our guys have really um, came to play at Robinson. I mean, I yeah. think every game we've we played at Robinson, we've really played hard. We've come out and, and competed. Um, we played well um, in Robinson um, for the simple fact that it's a rival game and, you know, it, it, it's some bad blood. And, right, and, and right. We're competitive, you know. Uh, my fiery self will get them a little fired up probably tomorrow. Um, so they'll come out and play hard just just for the simple fact of what type of game it is. Sure. Um, and again, it goes back to, okay, now let's settle down, let's execute, let's make um, this about us, not about Enid. Right. And, uh, you know, let everybody do what they do best and the fans and, and uh, you know, the high steppers, but we still have to do our job. So um, we have some young guys that are learning that um, going down, um, finishing up, up the season. So I think it'll be a good game. Good words of wisdom from Coach Curry. And uh, now Friday night, there was a basketball game scheduled. If you're looking at your schedule and you think, oh, Piedmont Friday night, Piedmont actually canceled that game, right? Yeah, they canceled that game. I, I, I don't think they had us on the schedule um, from what I heard. Um, but um, so we'll have a week, about a week off, um, a little bit over a week. Um, we'll come back for um, Blackwell um, at home. Um, which was a great game at their place at the beginning of the year. So it'll be be, be a great um, end of the year type of battles for us, and we're looking forward to it. Yeah, the K County rivalry, Blackwell and uh, the Punk City Wildcats at Robson Fieldhouse. You don't want to miss that February 2nd. And uh, certainly as you're watching this, I hope you uh, had a great time at homecoming Tuesday evening with Enid in town. And uh, always, of course, wishing the uh, Wildcats the best of success. Six games remain, starting with Enid, of course, Tuesday evening, and then Blackwell. Uh, as the season starts to wind down, what makes this stretch of games really exciting for it? It really gives your players an opportunity to really get out there and finish the season strong. Well, yeah, I, I, we've told our guys um, these last, last six games, um, we can easily, I won't say easily, but we can come out and we can make a good run and get some you know, wins under our belt. Um, or it can be flipped. We can we can go out and if we don't compete, if we don't um, come out with toughness, we can you know we cannot win the game. You know I, I'm just I'm not, I'm going to be honest with them, and uh, I think they've really um, taken the 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 uh, mindset that we're going to finish out strong. Um, I got some young guys that you know I thought hit the wall this past week, mm -hmm. um, and just sitting down talking to them. Uh, we were in the Deer Creek tournament. We sat down as a group, as a, as it, individuals, and and uh, you know really saw where they were at mentally, mm -hmm. and uh, I think they're in the right place. Um, and uh, so you know this 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 last stretch of six games will be huge for us because um, it'll be some competitive games. 
um, that I feel uh, we'll be able to um, definitely pull out um, again. But it's just about executing, coming hard, um, and, and, and finishing strong. So Absolutely. Coach uh, Keenan Curry with us on Coach's Corner. Coach, thank you for being on the show. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's Coach Curry, and uh, this is Coach's Corner. Stay close. Coming up. In our next segment, we will have the head coach of the Punk City Lady Cats, Jody Fincher, uh, next, right here on Coach's Corner. Stay tuned.